Yeah. Now it's time for the big reveal. Let's see. What if I told you that all of these Western non-Muslim women tried on the hijab for the first time and loved it? Would you believe me? I teamed up with ex-Bollywood actress Sana Khan to transform non-Muslim women into hijabis live in Times Square. But overcoming people's biases towards Islam and the hijab was going to be a challenge. Creating this historic da'wah event invited Islamophobic attacks. But Jesus was a messenger of God. You're separating. You are That's dividing not true. people. No, we're not. You are dividing no. people. It certainly beats forcing women to wear a burqa like in Saudi Arabia. It's actually for people who don't know any better. Countless rejections and so much more. Join me on this incredible journey of physical and spiritual transformation as we dare to do the impossible. Welcome to Try a Hijab Day. We opened up Times Square, New York City with the words of Allah. <laughs> On this blistering below zero degree cold day, we were in search for sincere women who wanted to learn more about the hijab. Do you know what the hijab is? No. You don't know. It's a scarf that Muslim women wear. Are you familiar? Yes, today is hijab day, right? And where you get to try on a hijab for the very first time. Would you like to try on a hijab? Oh, not today. No, not today? Have you ever tried on a hijab before? I have actually. Have you? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Alhamdulillah. Would you like to try one on now? Not today. No problem, sister. May Allah guide you. Come try on a hijab with us. Why not? That'll take five minutes. <laughs> yes? Where are you guys visiting from? Oh, no, it's free. I promise you. Talking to me is free. As the rejections started piling up, I began to doubt this entire da'wah event. I mean, how could little old me, an orphan from the Bronx, think that they could set out to change the world? But then I remember Nuh and the effort he put into his da'wah. Surely I couldn't give up just yet. Do you know what the hijab is? Yes. You know what the hijab is. Are you visiting here or are you from New York? No, I'm visiting. Where from? Ireland. We have hijab day happening over here where people are trying on the hijab for the very first time. It takes two minutes and we would love for you to try it on. It's free, right I here. promise you. Okay. Try, uh, try a hijab for the first hijab. time? You know what a hijab is. Scarf you know the hair. scarf that Muslim women wear? Muslim. Yeah. The Muslim women wear? We're giving an opportunity to try it on for the first time. Yeah, yeah it takes two minutes. Give it a try. It's free, I promise. Yeah, I like that encouragement. Come on, go on. Guys, we found someone over here. Come on, sister. Come on, sister. What's your name, sister? Carrie. Carrie, what a lovely name. Come on, Carrie. We're going to leave Carrie in the trusted hands of our partners, Urban Modesty, who are helping transform these women into hijabis. Do me a favor, guys, and go comment a hijab emoji on their IG right now. Welcome to Times Square. How are you? Wait, thank you. Yeah, where are you visiting from? England. Do you know what the hijab is? It's the scarf that you've probably seen Muslim women wear. Yes, yes, yes you know that. Today we have hijab day, where for the first time we're inviting non-Muslims to try on the hijab so that we could eliminate any type of Islamophobia. And so you could see like, what's the hijab all about? Would you like to try one on? It takes five minutes. Yeah, yes, yes, that looks like a yes to me. We're right over there, yeah. Let's go, you too, sir. Come on. You can't wear it though, but you can come with us. Come on, guys. Alhamdulillah, guys. Notice how Allah opened both of these sisters' hearts to try the hijab. But what pushed them both was a supportive partner. I think there's a lesson for all of us in this example. Go on, my sister. Yes, that's what I'm talking about right there. Let's check in with Carrie to see how her hijab transformation is coming along. MashaAllah, Carrie, come over here, Carrie. Wonderful, wonderful. That's wonderful. Guys, we got Carrie here all the way from Ireland. Dublin. Carrie, what is that on your head? Hijab. It's a hijab. Wow. You're, you're not a Muslim, just to be confirming, no. right? You're trying it on for the first time? Yeah. Now, be honest with, with me, right? Uh, have you ever tried on a hijab before? Never. Never. Uh, how do you find yourself looking right now? Is it like tough to see or how would you say? It's strange, but it's like it's something you couldn't get used to. Yeah, it's different, yeah. right? It's different. Now, I also notice you have a Quran in your hand. Yeah. Yes, wonderful. And this brother over here too, how are you guys related? 
with boyfriend. Hey, well, well, it's time for you to marry her. Yeah. I think it's about that time. Stop playing games. And you got to put a ring on it. You got to yeah, marry him. Yeah. You know why? I can tell you this. It is so hard to find a good woman. And Carrie is a good woman. I can tell you just by speaking to her for five minutes. Yeah. May the Almighty bless you guys. Thank you so Thank much you for participating. Much. And may God bless you guys. God bless you. Okay. Bye. Take care. Meanwhile, our sister from the UK is loving her new look in the hijab. And may Allah bless you and guide you, my sister. So what do you say? Are you guys trying on the hijab today for yeah, the first time? No, my daughter is. Your my daughter is. Daughter. You are. What's your name? Sophie. 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 Well, welcome over here. Let's take you to one of the stalls. Yes, follow one of them right there. Imagine a 16-year-old girl from the West is actually excited to wear something which is deemed oppressive. SubhanAllah. Do you know what the hijab is? The hijab, sort of. Hijab, you know what the hijab is? Yes, this, the wrap the Muslim women wear. Right? It's a scarf. Oh, yeah, something like that. You're famous. You're officially famous. What's your name? Chastity. Chastity, you won, Chastity. Chastity, you're the winner, Chastity. Fantastic. We're having people try on the hijab for the very first time. Would you like to be one of the hundreds who've tried on the hijab today? You get a free scarf. You get to pick any color you want, and it's a cool experience. I have no idea what to say. That means a yes. In, in our language, that means a yes. Try it on. SubhanAllah, you know what's amazing? is how supportive the mother of chastity is being. Literally encouraging her daughter to do good. But what's crazier is how these Kenyan girls don't have any parents to provide or protect them. They are orphans living under our care and have no one but Allah in their lives. This is Fatima, by the way, and she loves volleyball. For $5, you can provide food and safety to hundreds of girls just like Fatima, all while earning Sadaqa Jariya and the pleasure of Allah. So please click the link and help these sisters because without us, they won't have anything. Just $5 can change their lives. So let's save the Ummah together. Alhamdulillah, guys. More hijabs taking place. We have Sister Chastity all the way from Canada wearing the hijab for the first time, inshallah. Oh, we're going to see how this is going to turn out. Amazing. Oh, that's pretty. Right. Right, isn't it? Is right. Pretty. SubhanAllah. Yeah. Now it's time for the big reveal. Let's see. Oh my God, I love it. You welcome, my sister. You welcome. Now, now, my sister. Do you know why the Muslim women wear this uh, this scarf? Like, if you're married, it's respected. Like, you don't yes. show yourself to other men. Yes, it's not just for married. I don't know. No, no, but that was very good. It's not just for married women, right? It's oh, not just for, for that. For any Culture? woman. No, it's basically God's way of protecting the women. Yes, in, in Islam we believe that women are one of the largest and best and most beautiful assets to mankind. I agree. Yes, and God knows that as well too. Yes, and Allah, God Almighty knows that as well. So He has commanded all the believing women to cover themselves in their beauty so that they are protecting themselves from all the nasty and evil eyes out there that oh, would yeah. be on you, right? Yeah. Exactly. Now if you would also notice the mother of Jesus, Mary, also wore the scarf. Yes, because that was always a form of modesty that God commanded the women to always wear. So welcome into this, trying this out for the first time. And you made a beautiful reaction. So you thought that, how'd you find yourself to look? I feel pretty. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. <laughs> and may the Almighty beautify your insides like he's beautified your outsides. Thank you. You're welcome. Did anyone give you a Quran in English? Oh, let's get that for you right now. This is the final revelation given to mankind. Okay, the final. This was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was a messenger just like Jesus. You know that name. Moses, you know that name. Abraham, you know that name. Noah, all these names. He was the final messenger sent to mankind. This book has never been changed, never been altered. This is just an English translation of the Quran. The actual Quran is still in Arabic, fully preserved. Okay, so this is the final revelation. There's only one version. So there's no multiple versions go anywhere in the world. You'll only have this. I want you to make a quick dua for Sister Chastity in the comment section right now for this beautiful transformation. And speaking of transformations, who better to talk about transformation than Sana Khan, who left the filth of the Bollywood industry for Islam, abandoning a haram lifestyle and choosing the pleasure of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, you know, blessed us with this hijab, that's our crown, that's our identity. This is something that empowers us the most. At least it has empowered me the most and I feel safe, I feel strong. And you know, events like this, gatherings like this, having good friends or being around people who remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
somewhere gives you that opportunity to boost up your iman. Ooh, what do you think, my sister? What do you think? It is gorgeous, isn't it? Now, my sister, let me ask you a question. Do you know why the Muslim women wear this? Now, there's so many beneficial reasons, right? It can serve as protection. It can serve for modesty. It can serve in so many different ways to help you out. But the number one reason we wear this is because God Almighty has commanded us. Did you know that? Jesus also was a Muslim. A Muslim is someone who submits and surrenders their will to Almighty God. Did you know that? You did. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful, wonderful my sister. sister. I want to leave you with one final gift besides the hijab wearing, my sister. And this is a copy of the Quran. What do you know about this book? Uh, not much. Not much. Well, let me give you a brief synopsis, okay? This is the last and final revelation given to mankind. You know that the Bible has the Old Testament and the New Testament, correct? Yes, I do. This is the final testament given to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Have you ever heard of this name, Prophet Muhammad, before? I have. Beautiful. Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger sent to mankind. He is a brother of Jesus, of Moses, of Abraham. You've heard of these names? Yes. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his job was to give us the final revelation of the Quran. This book has never been changed. It's never been altered. It has tons of scientific miracles and other type of linguistic miracles, historical miracles, prophetic miracles. But do you know what the greatest miracle is, my sister? No. No. It is what it does to your hearts. The way it communicates to you as this is the verbatim word of God. This has been reserved and preserved in the Arabic language. What you have is an English copy, a translation of the Quran. So we would love to give that to you as well. And you look absolutely wonderful. May the Almighty beautify your insides like he's beautified your outside. Say Amin. My sister, and God bless you. The Amin. Guys, clap it up for our sister. SubhanAllah, look how happy this sister looks when she sees herself for the first time in hijab. And may Allah transform her heart as well. Do you know what the hijab is? Hijab? For, you know the women, they wear the Muslim, Musliman, women, they wear the hijab. You know, yeah, you know, of course. Today, for the first time, we're giving everyone a chance to try the hijab on. Look how many people are trying it. Come be a guest of us. It takes two minutes. It's free. Come try on a hijab. Two minutes, yes, come with us, come on. Yes, I like this. What's your name, sister? Denise. Denise, okay. They have this activity. Yes, that's a very good question. Today our goal is to eliminate anyone who thinks negative about hijab. You know, because sometimes they say that the women, the Muslims, they're oppressing the women or, oh, because they're controlling. That's not what the case is. The reason we wear the hijab is because God said so. You know Mary, the, the mother of Jesus? Yeah. Yes. Now, have you noticed that she always has a scarf on her head? Yeah. Why? Because that's the hijab, that's the covering. It has always been the tradition that God may allows the women to cover themselves out of modesty. Because you know how many sickles are here, how many nasty people could be out here. The hijab is a protection from God, okay? So that it covers you up and it protects you and gives you modesty, okay? As we await for urban modesty to transform Denise, we met this teenage girl and her father who knew nothing about Islam. Hi, where are you guys visiting from? Venezuela. Venezuela. Is it first time in New York? Si. Oh, see. Si. Have you ever tried a hijab on? Have you ever tried one? You've never tried one? Have a seat. Have a seat. Sit down. As this teenager transforms into a hijabi, I met these young girls from Ecuador who just tried on the hijab for the very first time. Do you know what this is called? No, do you know como se llama eso? It's called a hijab. Say hijab. Hijab. Say hijab. Hijab, yes. And do you know that Mary, the mother of Jesus, you know Jesus, right? The Mary, the mother of Jesus, used to wear the hijab as well. Okay? Now, did anyone give you a Quran? Did they give you? <gasps> we gotta fix that. Hold on. Stay there. Don't move. While I find the Quran translation in Spanish, let's check in with our teenager from Venezuela. So how do you think? Does she look beautiful? You think beautiful. she looks beautiful? Beautiful, right? And guess what? That's your daughter, yes? You want to protect your daughter, yes? Protect. There's so many people who might look bad, but the hijab is a protection for your daughter. Okay, so now when someone looks at her, they will look at her with a nasty, ugly way. Like, ooh, let me check. No, they respect her. Like, you know what? 
Let me look away from her because she's a respectable woman, just like Mary, the mother of Jesus. And then suddenly we received this little surprise. MashaAllah, it looks so beautiful on you. May Allah guide you guys to the truth. Um, do, did we give them a Quran in Spanish? Take one, take one. Yes, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Take that. Yes, yes. God bless you guys, okay? Thank you so much for coming through. May Allah bless you guys, okay? Yes, that's in Spanish, right? So that's for you. That, and that obviously, that's for you guys. But God bless you guys. Guys, no father wants their daughter to be approached or looked at by random men. Both fathers appreciated the beauty and dignity their daughters received in the hijab, but also the modesty it provided their daughters. May Allah bless and guide them. But now, let's check in with our sister Denise and see how her hijab transformation is coming along. What's your opinion? Be honest. Everything is okay. Yeah. It's interesting. This is exactly how uh, the mother of Jesus used to dress as well too. Because we believe she was also a Muslim. Did you know that Muslims also believe in Jesus? Did you know about this? You know about this. But we believe him to be a prophet and messenger of God. Okay. We believe Jesus will be returning back. Did you know that? Jesus will come back again and he will defeat the Antichrist. Okay, we believe in him, right? But we believe he's a messenger of God, meaning we do not believe that he is God because we only believe there's one God. Okay. Make sense? We believe one God only, right? Okay. And we do not also believe that Jesus is God's son because we do not believe that God has children. God cannot be a human because a human being has form. God cannot have that form because that is the creation of God. So my sister, welcome and uh, to trying on the hijab. It looks wonderful on you. Welcome with having the Quran as well too. And may God bless you, my sister. Thank you so much. Okay, God bless you. Thank you. Guys, so many women wanted to try on a hijab that even Elmo gave it a try. Elmo has the hijab on. How does it look? How do you think? Looks beautiful? Yeah. It looks beautiful. Bonita, mashallah. Okay, you're going to put the Elmo hat back on. And Elmo went from that to now hijabi. Minnie Mouse, let's see how you look over here, Minnie Mouse. We got to get the shot. Oh, Minnie Mouse had the hijab on. Let's go. We're doing this, Minnie Mouse. Mashallah. And as we gave more da'wah using the hijab, we met the Walmart version of Richard Dawkins, who literally held no feelings back when it came to his thoughts about Islam. Oh, no, you I could. Can wear whatever. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You could, right? But that's not for the men, it's for the women. But you could do as you like. It's actually for people who don't know any better. Well, what do you mean? Like the hijab is for people who don't know any better? I mean religion in general. You mean general? So are you like an atheist or something? I'm an anti-theist. Okay? So your thoughts on Islam? All religions, no. All religions, no. You know what they say about the Bible, right? I'm talking about the Quran, but tell me about the Bible. Yeah, it's the same thing. Is it really? Yeah, it is. That's, that's a very ignorant claim to make. To compare this book to the Bible so, is apples and oranges. When you, when you look at the world, there are free countries and there are not so free countries. Okay. And the not so free countries. They Do you think this is a free country? <laughs> you think this is free? Do you think well, that making women be undressed and naked and paying five dollars on OnlyFans for their videos is that true freedom? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So basically, objectifying it's, the women and making them believe they can—that's freedom to you. It's, it's certainly be forcing women to wear a burqa like in Saudi Arabia. No one is actually forced to wear a burqa in Saudi Arabia. I think your information is a little outdated. The hijab is a requirement that God has given to us. So and this is the same he, thing. Ah, now you're asking a question. What's your why, question? Then why didn't it, uh, why uh, has he never said anything about ah, it? Ah, my, my, my friend. You, know, you see, you say that he hasn't let, spoken let, about it, question, but this question. is the, well, you have to listen to the answer to your first question, then ask the second question. You see, this Quran over here, which is the verbatim word of God given to the last and final prophet you see in this book Allah Almighty God Almighty who's not a man or a woman we do not believe God is a human being or a creation of himself guys this Richard Dawkins wannabe just kept on yapping I'm gonna post a full uncut video on my YouTube membership for anyone who wants to watch the entire thing but then out of nowhere the Diet Coke version of Amy Winehouse begins to harass us you're free to believe that yes I believe Alhamdulillah. In Jesus, okay? no problem but I also Which believe one? everybody the Mexican one? no I'm a Christian I'm a nurse and I believe in Jesus and I don't Wonderful. wear Louis Vuitton okay because I don't wear okay. Louis Vuitton that okay no problem you walked away yeah but Jesus was a messenger of God we but Jesus was religion. a messenger you don't need of God. To have just Muslim. No, because Jesus was a Muslim. Muslim. But Jesus was a Muslim. I know. Yeah, you know. No, Jesus not. was a Muslim. No, I never. Was he that. a Christian? He's Jewish. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh, oh. Jesus was a Jew. Yes. Where would you find that in your Bible? No, I don't, even care. don't be ignorant, my sister. So I don't even don't care be ignorant. That. Yeah, that's the problem. You what don't I care. care about is what do you care? 
goodness. What do you care about? And you're not. You're separating. You are That's dividing not true. people. No, we're not. You are dividing no, people. Jesus was a Muslim, my sister. You can walk away, but Jesus still is a Muslim. Jesus is still a Muslim. Jesus called people to worship Allah. It is you who said Jesus was a God. But Jesus never claimed that, my sister. May God guide you to the straight path. SubhanAllah, guys, we just want to give da'wah and teach the people about the hijab. And out of nowhere, we're attacked by these Islamophobes. Could this be all of our hard work washed away because of some trolls? All the sacrifices the brothers and sisters made in this freezing cold weather ruined by some cold-hearted people? Huh, never. Allah wouldn't abandon us because what Allah was preparing for us next went far beyond our expectations and imagination. It's your first time trying it on? It is. And how do you like it? It's so nice, actually. Yeah? Because there's so many things coming from people about, like, yeah, religion. Yeah. And I really didn't know, like, this feels so powerful. Right? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Um, uh, Al say, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. My sister, what is your current belief? Do you believe in the one true creator? You believe in one God. There's many different from many different things. Yes, but there's only one God, meaning when we die, we return to this one singular God. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is the God of Jesus. You know who Jesus was? Yeah. Jesus was a messenger of God. Does that make sense? Yeah. We believe that God does not have children. Does that make sense? Yeah. God does not have children. We are all the children of God in the sense that we are all worshippers of God, but we are servants of God. We are not his children because God does not have children. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is what Allah says in the Quran. Allah is God's name. It means the worshipped one. Yes? yes? Okay. Allah says in the Quran, the book that you have in your hand, okay? It's in chapter 112. Allah says in the Quran, Qul huwallahu ahad. Say, He is Allah one and alone. Allah husamad. He is completely independent of any needs, meaning He provides, but He is not provided for. He feeds, but He is not fed. Does that make sense? Lam yes. yalid. He does not beget children. Walam yulid, nor was he begotten himself. He does not have a mommy or daddy himself, okay? Walam yakullahu kufu wanahid, and there is nothing unlike to him. Do you believe that? There's nothing unlike to God. Do you believe that? Do you believe that Jesus is the messenger of God, my sister? Now, have you ever heard of the Prophet Muhammad's name? I have, but I don't know very much. You don't know much about him. This book that you have is the final revelation given to the Prophet Muhammad, who was a messenger of God, peace be upon him, just like Jesus, just like Moses, like Abraham. You know those names. Yeah. That is their brother. They're all brothers in faith. This is the final scripture, never been changed, never been altered, ever. One version only. Yes, you that. didn't know that. No. Yes, and you go anywhere in the world, you will find it preserved in the original language of Arabic. What you have is a translation of the Quran in English. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So let me ask you, my sister, what's your name? Carla. Carla. Carla, do you believe there's only one God? Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you believe in that? Yeah. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God, just like all the other messengers of God as well? Yeah. Yes, you do. That, my sister, makes you a Muslim. Did you know that? That makes you a Muslim. That's exciting, isn't that? In a world that try to demonize us, that's exciting, isn't it? My sister, that means you're a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. Would you like to say the words in Arabic? I'll go very, very slowly for you. Is that okay? Okay, bismillah. Ash, hadu, an, la, la, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illa, Illa, Allah, Allah, Wa Ash, Wa Ash, Hadu, Hadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammad, Muhammad, Rasul, Rasul, Law, Law. I bear witness. I bear witness. There's no God worthy of worship except Allah. There's no God worthy except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Prophet Muhammad. That Prophet Muhammad is a servant and messenger of God. Is a servant and messenger of God. My sister, you're a Muslim. Takbir! Takbir! My sister, you've become a Muslim. That means Allah has forgiven all of your sins. Every sin that you've committed, any knowingly or unknowingly, He has forgiven them for you. And you know what He's done with those sins? He's converted them into good deeds for you.
Subhanallah, guys, as Allah opened Sister Carla's heart using the hijab, her friend who tried on a hijab also for the first time decided to accept Islam. Muhammad wa Rasulullah. You are a Muslim now, my sister. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, guys. Sister Carla accepted Islam. Then her best friend took her shahada as well. But the miracles of Allah were not finished yet. You would also like to accept Islam. This sister, three sisters accepting Islam. Alhamdulillah, wow. Look at this, subhanAllah. Repeat after me, I'm gonna say it in Arabic, okay? Ash, hadu, an, la, ilaha, illa, Allah, wa ash, hadu, anna, Muhammad, wa Rasulullah. Mashallah, I'm gonna say it in English now, okay? Repeat after me. I bear witness. There's no God worthy of worship except Allah. There's no God. Worthy of worship. Worthy of worship. Except Allah. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is a servant and messenger of God. Takbir! My sister, you're a Muslim now. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Another sister accepted Islam. MashaAllah, Barakallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. In a world where they're trying to make women naked, we have women who are non Muslim and they're wearing the hijab and it suits them so beautifully. It makes them feel like they finally belong in their home. We have a sister crying her eyes out right now because she realizes that this is what she was missing in her life. This is what she needed in her life. This is Islam. This is what they try to scare you from. But there's nothing to fear. This is modesty. Something that all women need. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, guys. Three sisters took their shahada just because Allah used the hijab to open their hearts. And this brother was watching and was so inspired by our da'wah that even he wanted to enter the fold of Islam. Repeat after me in Arabic. Ash. Ash. Hadu. An la ilaha illa Allah wa ash hadu anna Muhammad Rasul Allah. I bear witness. There's no God except Allah. There's no God except Allah. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad. Prophet is a servant and messenger of God. Servant and messenger of God. Allah, My brother, you are a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Allah has forgiven all of your sins. All of your sins. All of your bad deeds have now been converted. Not only as forgiveness, but converted into good deeds. How does that make you feel? Amazing. Now, my brother, you can't leave. It is time for us to pray. Do not leave without praying, my brother. Because as Muslims, we pray five times a day. This is the, yes, this is one of our prayers. Would you like to join us in the prayer now? We gave da'wah and educated the world about the meaning of the hijab. With the help of our sister Sana Khan, we enlightened the masses about Islam. Allah then sends three sisters so they can inspire the entire ummah to wear the hijab. So if you're struggling to wear the hijab, perhaps this was the sign or push that you needed. And as we celebrate the success of this deen, let's not forget about our orphan sisters in Kenya, who for only $5 can receive food and shelter from the orphanage that we've already built for them. So please click the link below and donate whatever you can. And a huge jazakal khair to Urban Modesty and all the brothers and sisters who volunteered in the freezing cold weather. May Allah reward you all. And until next time, I'm out.